gonna so, take that forty year old pussy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, once again, only the Simpson betas, yeah. man. Only the Simpson. I guess beta. I'm a Simpson beta at forty because I'm settling. I have a I have a follow up question with with that real quick, ladies. Real quick around the table, starting with Heaven. Do y'all want to have children? Yeah, do you want children? I am not sure yet. Yes, with the right man, and probably only one to two. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not opposed. If it's meant for my life, great. If it's not, that's fine too. Okay. No, but if my life partner wouldn't win, I'd just suck it up. Oh, whatever. Okay. I already have one, so I'm done. You're done? Yeah. I want some kids. You do want kids? <laughs> I do. I already have one in three, you know, like step yeah. kids. So obviously I'm a family person. Yeah. So I wouldn't mind like one to two more of my own. Okay. That's a big family. God. Yeah, yeah, no, no, <laughs> exactly. I have a school bus. And honestly, <laughs> Honestly, that's what a lot of this comes down to, though. Like, if you, uh, the people that don't want kids, you don't really need to even worry about a lot of this advice because you don't, like, you can kind of live, like, the, the city girl fun life, I guess you could say. Yeah. Because kids, the only reason most people want relationships for. are for kids. And, well, security, like we were saying, too, with finances and stuff in the future, that's another big reason probably to get in a relationship. Um, but now for the last question, I just want to know, um, if there's something about the day market that bothers you, what is it? Uh, we'll ask the person who's in a relationship. Repeat that. Something about the dating marketplace that bothers you. What is it? I feel like like when a man approaches you and they're so like aggressive about it, like what's your number? And you say no, and they're like, no, give it to me. Like they're just too determined. Like, exactly. Yeah. I'm like persistence. Yeah. Persistent. Yeah. yeah, but I'm just like that ain't cute, it honey. Take all it's just that. funny because Ooh. sometimes women like more persistence. Some, some women are like do. that. Yeah. Some like if do. women like it, they oh, can do it themselves though. Yeah. yeah. Like they could really do it themselves. But like if a man's over here like not leaving me alone, I'm like boy bye. Okay. Right. Mm -mm. Okay. What about you? What's something about the day market that bothers you? Um, I would say how everything is transactional right now. Like I feel like women date for money, men date for sex. I like the traditional type of relationships, even though I do want a six figure, whatever man, but I want to be in a traditional way, not in a, a transactional type of way. You know what I mean? Like actual feelings involved. Do you feel like maybe um, because of the industry you're in, you might see it a lot more than what's normal? Uh, no, because I, I work in other industries as well. Yeah. So <laughs> I was, I see it in other aspects and it's still very transactional no matter what. No matter. Yeah. And not, no, I agree with you. I'm not going to say, I just think that maybe you see it even more in your industry, but no, I, I agree though that, but what the way I see it, though, is that relationships are transactional. It doesn't matter if it's a business relationship, if it's a friendship, if it's your girlfriend. They're always transactional. There's always push and give or there's always so I'm doing a favor for you and you're doing a favor for me. Call it a symbiosis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, and that's what I usually call it is a symbiosis. Like like we're both working together to like do things like it's that. it's always yeah. going to be that way. And like it's always going to be transactional. Sex is different for men and women. So mm -hmm. sex is almost always very transactional, especially once you're in a relationship or you're married. Um, like there's I, I can't express to you how many times like me and my girlfriend's relationship could seem transactional, but it's just what naturally works for our team right. for, for us okay. to be as good as teammates as we that. are. Yeah. You know, um, and just really quick, uh, I'd like to say like a teamwork analogy. Um, the, uh, there's there's these horses that are the strongest horses in the world and um, single uh, like by themselves, they pull four thousand pounds each. OK, but whenever you have two of these horses, how much do you think they pull together? They pull 16,000. It's a multiply. It's not a double. It's not 8,000. It's, it's 16,000. And then once they once they uh, spend a lot of time together, like say like you have two, two, two boys and you make them run in the field for a year, you make them play together, eat together, all that stuff. How much do you think they pulled in? It goes up to 32. It doubles. You said Just, two boys, Sergio? Yeah. Yeah, Nigga, you gay. <laughs> <laughs> but go to 32. And the world record holders, two brothers that spent their whole life together and they pulled 52,000 pounds. So, that's like, crazy. that's how big yeah. of a deal teamwork is. This yeah. is why I started this show. This is why I do everything that I do is because I know most people are not going to be successful today unless they find a good teammate. Mm -hmm. And that's the only way that's going to work is if I teach people how to be good teammates. Right. You know? Our energy feeds off of each other. Like, you yep. have yeah. you noticed, like, you, like, we enter a room, you feel somebody energy. Mm -hmm. all that. So, imagine that energy of somebody you with all the like time. Like a first uh, impression. That's why sometimes yeah. you first get energy even. Impression. Have you ever thought of somebody, somebody you close with, and y'all text each other at the same time? Or yes. say the oh, same yes. thing? Like, it's a, it's like, like I was literally just thinking about you. Ser yeah. Serendipitous. <laughs> uh, so what about you? What's something about the day marketplace that bothers you? Um, I personally don't have no bothers by because I just feel like everybody's going to do what they want to do. But one thing I want to like put out to people is like, do what makes you happy because you never know what's going to happen. Like, j just do it. You could die happy. tomorrow. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
I, I agree with that. But at the same time, I'm really always trying to teach people don't live in the moment because that's what everybody's doing today. And that's what's causing a lot of issues is living in the moment. So I agree with you, but, you know, live it up, especially since you're young. But be careful because that's what a lot of people are doing. Today. That's what's causing a lot of issues. Um, what about you? What's something that's bothering you about the dating marketplace? Um, I guess the, I don't know if I'm going to be saying this word right, but I guess, what's it, is it nativity? Like people being naive Not, yeah, or yeah, yeah, just naive. unprepared for actually being, people want relationships, but they don't want to put the work in mm-hmm. and whatnot. And they don't want to actually research what that comes with. You can't just, oh, I want a boyfriend, get a dude and just get the work be it. willy-nilly from there. No, you have to work yeah. for that shit. Mm-hmm. A, lot of, a lot of women honestly think all they got to do is put up their pussy. I cannot express no, to you how many no, women who, who mm-hmm. think that the pussy is all they got to throw up and that's it. But you're right. Like, there's, it's not just pussy. What It's all about how complimentary you are. A lot of women can't get in relationships because they start fucking a guy and they don't know how to look different from all the other women. And the only way you look different is by being complimentary. What are you bringing to the table? What are you, how are you making his life better? You know? And like most women don't do that. That's why a guy can have a rotation of four or five girls. And they're just all the type of girls that are like, my pussy's awesome. This is all I got to do. It's like, that's why you're on rotation right now. (laughs) Yes. That's yeah. That's exactly how. Um, So what about you? What's something that bothers you about the dating marketplace right now? I would say the way that people think they have to classify their relationships because of society. Like some of the most unorthodox stuff works for people and what works for one doesn't work for all. And that is okay. Mm -hmm. There shouldn't be a stipulation telling you, no, you have to do it this way. You have to do it that way. You're not doing it right. Well, it's it's more about, so like a lot of like the red pill space, like what my show is talking about mostly like, the thing is, they like to look at statistics. We like to look at religion, religion's history. You know, statistics are facts. And we look at these things because we can say, okay, by a shadow of a doubt, 51% majority, it's best to do this. Or this is what's showing to work and this is what's showing not to work. That's the only reason why people would do something like that, right. you know. And you got to understand, there's a lot of good reason for that, you know. Like, mm-hmm. But at the same time, I agree. Sometimes, the you know, the random thing works out really well. Mm-hmm. Uh, like you always see on TikTok, the really weird couples and shit like right. that, you know. But it just works, always... Right. People should always remember, though, that they're not going to be the exception of the rule nine times out of ten. So yeah, yeah. try not to do that. Yeah. Um, what about you? What's something that bothers you about the day marketplace right now? I wanted to double back to one of the things you said about um, the living in the moment. I feel like people would have more of a lighter spirit and stress-free if they did live in the moment. Because half the time we can only control what we can that day and then. But we spend a lot of our time about what we're going to eat tomorrow, what we're going to do the next day. Plan- yeah, we, we're we planners. That's America. Like, literally, mm-hmm. we're on a clock. Thinking ahead, yeah. Mm-hmm. But other than that, I would say social media and not deleting the accounts and all that. I'm thinking the way our society has went into it's social. Like, even kids going to online school, all that. I really think it's the the social the virtual everything mm-hmm. virtual because people don't know how to interact with each other mm-hmm. no more you're not even right. forced to interact with each other anymore so yep. i think the biggest thing is media mm-hmm. right now because media displays what a relationship could be mm-hmm. or should be and it gives standards and fantasies to people who don't know what it should be especially yeah. when half of us sometimes come from a home where we're not even taught the basics of what a relationship should be or even mm-hmm. seeing those examples and like you want to say about minorities Half the time we don't even get fair and good examples of what healthy relationships should right. be between families or like absolutely. your partner in life. It's also mental health too. Like it, yeah. it's yeah. it's your own mental health mm-hmm. as well. Yeah. How many people have really good role models? Like like if I named mm-hmm. all my role models right now, none of y'all could know any of their names. They're scientists that the richest people in the world and stuff like like these are people that most people don't look up to. Most people look up Car- Kim Kardashian. Most people look up to like really bad mental healthy role models like mm-hmm. ones that are going to mess you up more mentally like yeah. like the thing is like like i always say i really don't like guys that do steroids or like that that focus on vanity and their body and stuff too much because that causes you insecurity women have the same problem with girls getting their ass done their tits done you see a girl with that you're like oh i need to look like that or my or my cheeks aren't good enough or my lips aren't good enough y'all think y'all have to edit all these things in reality a real man doesn't want none of that bullshit yeah, like it sucks it's, really bad the media yeah. consumption because look at how we do change it's ourselves and half the time sense. these guys looking at it and liking it but when they see a person they is not this <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. 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 That, girl, about that. that girl that got all that work done for her mm-hmm. boyfriend they ended up breaking up she's like i don't even want to look like this mm-hmm. anymore like That's what the hell? Yeah. yeah on tiktok this girl was like she got all this work done to look like one of the fashion over mm-hmm. girlies Oh, and no. she was just like Not the dude that she girl. was with. He doesn't even date girls that look like her anymore. 
Yeah, so she's it, like it, she it, got all that work done for no Yeah, nothing. we, we, I'm telling y'all, like a, a lot of women get fooled because they're like, "This is what the guys want," and like it's a, it's cap. Like they might want to fuck that, but they definitely don't want to make that the wife of their kids. Exactly. They definitely exactly. don't want that that, that, that person being their wifey. It, it reminds me of like when I 